The callable interface describes an asynchronous computation that eventually returns a value of the parameterized type we set when instantiating our callable object. In this code sample, we declare the class MyComputation as a class that implements the callable interface. The parameterized type we set is double. The return value of the asynchronous computation an object of this class represent is of type double. The future task parameterized wrapper class implements future and runnable. A future task object should hold a reference for a callable object. When calling a constructor of future task class, we send we pass a reference for a callable object. The future task object is a runnable object because future task class implements runnable, which means that we can instantiate it a thread and pass a reference for the future task object as the runnable object for that thread, which means that when calling the start method on our thread object, we indirectly start running the run method on our future task object, which indirectly starts the calculation represented by our callable object, in this case an object that was instantiated from my computation class. Calling get on the future task object should return the result of the asynchronous calculation. In case the calculation is still working, the get method should block till the calculation ends. Running this code we shall see a very very long calculation represented by a my computation object running which shall cause some sort of delay. We shall see that calling the get method blocks the thread till the calculation ends and only when that happens we shall see the result on our screen. Let's execute the application. We can see the message calling task.get and the thread that tries to call that specific method. We can see that thread being in a block state waiting for the result. Eventually the calculation ends and the get method returns the result of that calculation which is printed to the screen.